Book time, everybody. So I did something rather rash when I got back from my trip. Uh, well, the day after I got back from my trip, you can watch the video of it all in the description below. Um, and also it's the video that's before this, um, which is on my channel page. And if you don't check my channel page, then what are you doing? But I got a bunch of new books. I didn't get not one, not two, not three, not four, but four different new projects oh. that are really amazing. And one is a new release that I'm really stoked about to see. What I got is, oh, I forgot to do my intro. Hang on, restart the video. Hey guys, it's me Tom Flex here, back at you guys with another video. And today I got four new comic books that I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys today. And I got, and the four books I got are, which one is a release by the time I'm recording this, it came out yesterday. It is the Flash movie tie-in comic. It's a reissue mini comic, mini run, and, ah, oh, shoot, battery. It all ties into the Flash movie coming out June 16th, and it, and I'm really stoked for the movie. I love Ezra Miller, and I can't wait to see what it, what that brings. The second book is Age of Ultron. Some of the movie might be based on. I haven't read the book before, but I have watched the movie, and I want to read Age of Ultron because I heard it's a really great run. I love Brian Michael Bendis because that run comes after my Moon Knight Bendis Amal Leave run, actually. It, it's a right tie-in. and It's an extreme tie-in into that run. When I got the complete collection in hardcover form, it collects every single thing and all the, like, the side issues of like other superheroes that do connect into the story. And the other one I got is um, Fantastic Four by Dan Slott Book 2. Hi! I wanted to pause in the video because something went wrong with the order. And you're going to have to stay tuned to find out what, uh, what it is until the end of the video because it's a pretty big stupid thing that happened. But you're probably going to laugh your pants off. <laughs> Excuse me. Stay tuned until the end of the video. What else did I get? V for Vendetta. Yeah, I got V for Vendetta. So yeah, after this, we're going to sit down and have a little chat. <laughs> I've heard great things about V for Vendetta. I haven't seen the movie. Some people, well, one of my friends says it's mediocre, but the book is good. And I want to read the book, then watch the movie to see what's going on. Yeah, I would really love to see V for Vendetta. The only snippets I have seen are when he's like, let's sit down and have a little chat. But yeah, I got all those books. It took me three minutes just to break that down. But yeah, without further ado, I do not know which books come in what. So I'm excited to see what, what I see. That was worth I'm excited to see what is in these or what is in each box uh, what's in the box Not what's in the fucking box assuming this is uh v for vendetta or or the flash yeah we're gonna open the thin one first i don't know why just right in front of me because i'm lazy and is this v for vendetta i think so it is wow Oh, so that's where the mask thing comes from. You know, like that thing where like the guys are like the hackers, they wear this mask. I think this is where that comes from. And interestingly enough, um, the guy who wrote this, Alan Moore, also wrote uh, Watchmen, like the entirety of Watchmen. And I love that book. And I heard great things about V for Ven the book V for Vendetta. And I love Watchmen. And he also wrote Killing Joke. And I love that book too. So I was really excited to see what this book had to offer. It's illustrated by D David Lloyd. I have no idea what he's done. But uh, yeah, let's read the back. Oh yeah, I was right. Hang on. Remember, remember the 5th of November. That's exactly it. A frightening and powerful tale of the loss of freedom and identity in a chillingly believable total totalitarian world, V for Vendetta stands as one of the highest achievements of comics medium and defining work uh, and defining work for creators Alan Moore and David Lloyd. Set in an imagined future England that has given itself over to fascism, this groundbreaking story captures both the suffocating nature of life in an authoritarian police state and the redemptive power of the human spirit which rebels against it. Crafted with the, ster with the sterling clarity and intelligence, V for Vendetta brings an unequal depth of characterization and verisimilitude, verisimilitude to its unflinching account of oppression and resistance. Ages 17 and up. 
I don't care. I'm reading this anyway. I don't know how many issues are in this. It doesn't look like a lot. It just looks like one book, like three big books. But this is DC. I know it is DC because it says DC. And it's a black label book. I could get the hardcover edition, but I didn't. The art, however, looks pretty epic. It, it feels a little similar to Watchmen, but it's not by uh, the person who uh, did Watchmen. It has that feeling of like Batman the Killing Joke or um, some of the Frank Miller art style vibes for Batman. It has that sort of vibe, so like vigilantism, um, but it, it, it feels like that. And I love that. And I love how it's like the classic art style and like, and it, and I love how they probably like recolored it for Black Label Edition, but this is beautiful. And uh, I forgot how many pages there are, Future Me. Oh, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So this is kind of like Watchmen where there's like a certain amount of, uh, behind the scenes material like a good issue size chunk of like behind the scenes stuff especially like art style and the art style looks beautiful like th like this is just a sketch and it looks amazing and it's like a note like a whole storyline of like a note or like some of the art or the lines that are in this yeah this looks really good yeah so this is v for vendetta this looks pretty awesome and uh now on to the next book which is um the medium box i have no idea what's in here it feels light could be one book so i'm guessing this is age of i don't know this is it's like a side opener hold up like this <gasps> i was right hang on look yep oh and it's in in a little film wrap <laughs> they had a sticker on here but thankfully it is on the film and not inside the book which ho oh, is a relief for me <laughs> oh man that is a really cool cover Oh, I didn't recognize this. When I bought it, I just looked at the cover, but I didn't realize that on the front, Hawkeye is actually pointing his bow and arrow trying to hit Ultron. Like, this is a reflection, and he's trying to, like, hit Ultron. Uh, yeah, this is by uh, Brian Michael Bendis. Great author for Marvel. I want to read some of his stuff that he's done for DC, but, uh, yeah, this is... It's not Avengers Age of Ultron. It is just Age of Ultron, and this looks really cool, especially on the back. You got this which is very cool and it's like submit or perish and that is a really good line and it really fits ultron the art on the back i think that the um the person who did this is addy granoff who did like the art for iron man extremis but it, that he didn't do the art for this book i'm just saying like this back in particular looks like it was done by addy granoff um take a look into this and see like some of the covers but yeah let's read the back bendis has successfully done what every comic publisher and creator can do and should strive for. The artificial intelligence Ultron has fought for years to eradicate mankind. Now it has all but succeeded. The few remaining heroes are battered, broken, almost beaten, and left considered desperate measures. Some, some more desperate than others, but when Wolverine breaks rank with his own plan to defeat Ultron, will his drastic action cause more problems than it solves? Brian Michael Bendis presents the ultimate triumph of the Avengers Avengers greatest villain in an epic that will shake worlds. Yeah, let's open this up. We just gotta take the film off. And this is in pristine condition. I was worried like it wasn't gonna be in good condition, but this is pristine, dude. Got the tiny bit. I almost ripped the dust cover. Well, this feels nice. And uh, let's just take a look at some of the inside. So the art is, um, okay, so the art is really nice. Uh, take a look at that. It looks pretty cool. It's very thick. I think it changes art style like throughout the story depending on like the different runs of comics. Well, I love how like on the Age of Ultron, it's like lines of code fully completing it. Like one zero zero one zero 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 one 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 zero zero zero. So yeah, this is Age of Ultron. Looks amazing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go on to the final box, which I'm guessing has Flash and Fantastic Four in it. We bubble wrap. We we got both of them in here. Oh wow. All right, so I'm gonna t just take a look at the Flash one. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna take a look at the Flash one because I mean, just look at that cover. And we got Batfleck up here too. And the back is just astounding. And I love Ezra Miller's like pose right here and like in like in action, he's ready to like punch something. They got their facial expressions and jawline spot on and their movements and their body, everything. Oh. <laughs> 
I I remember um this cover got leaked like this um act like this one cover like a variant cover got leaked. It is one of my favorite covers of Ezra Miller's Barry Allen by far. It's when he is trying to get ready in the suit and he's just butt naked. I also love how it says Barry Allen's adventures will continue in the Flash. Oh, he meets his dad in Iron Heights. So apparently, like his dad is still alive during the time of this book because he says, I went back in time to save my parents and I was worried like they, they killed off Barry's dad. Uh, no, it's like save his dad from prison or f being falsely accused and save his mom from being murdered, who in the comics is by reverse flash, but it's kept a secret for who it actually murdered his mom in this movie. Maybe it's reverse flash. I'm not 100% certain. Oh, that's another good one. I just, I probably could just gonna geek out over this art because it is amazing. But um, I've been waiting forever for this book to come out. Ever since they dropped like the teaser trailer at DC Fandom and they said all the stuff about it and since they said like as a Miller's game better. So I'm happy, I'm happy. And now that this book's come out, I can't wait to read this because I've seen like all the single issues like in comic shops and seen like all the stuff going on. And I've been wanting to read those, but I couldn't. I wanted to wait until the graphic novel came out so I could read it all. I'm finally happy that this actually came out and this is really dope. And this looks sick. And I love how they like show um, like the blur as he's running. So it looks like one person running really fast. Yeah, let's read the back. Witness Barry Allen's early days as The Flash in this official movie tie-in. After Barry's harrowing adventure with the Justice League. I can't wait to see The Flash movie. I'm so stoked. As you can see, I'm a major Flash fan and uh, as a Miller fan. Bah. He's determined to become a truly skilled and inspirational hero. As new threats emerge in Central City, The Flash turns to Batman for advice. For advice on controlling his powers, but even under the tutelage of the Dark Knight, Barry finds himself at odds with his own abilities. The Scarlet Speech's newfound mastery of momentum is put to the ultimate test as he defends Central City from the metallic menace of Girder, of the molten monstrosity of Tar Pit, and the topsy-turvy terror of the top. So we got some classic Flash villains in this. Will the Scarlet Speech be able to gain control over the Speed Force and leave these sinister villains in the dust, or find himself slow to a stop? Find out in this thrilling mile a minute prequel to The Flash Movie, written by Kenny Porter, DC's mech, and featuring art by Ricardo Lopez Orditz, Batman, Juan Ferreira, Green Arrow, Gotham by Midnight, or Gotham by Midnight, and Jason Howard, Batman, collects The Flash, Fast Man Alive 1 through 3. But I would love to just like constantly keep reading this book over and over again until the movie comes out, because this is really beautiful. And we even get to see like him working at CCPD as CS as a CSI, and we even get to see like a mini still of that in the Flash movie. I'm really excited to see like all of that come together. So I recommend like before you watch the movie, you read this. This is one of the coolest Flash covers I've ever seen in my life. Ezra really represents Barry Allen to a T. Yeah, so that is the Flash Fast Man Alive. Ten out of ten for that book. Okay, so I, f I forgot to like do um uh, initial reviews for um each book I've done so far. So V for Vendetta, ten out of ten. <laughs> Age of Ultron, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Flash, Fastest Man Alive, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go into uh, Fantastic Four by Dan Slott, Volume 2. Um, this is a really interesting cover. I love... Um... Okay, so apparently I did a really big dumb thing. I ended up getting Volume 3. <laughs> I got vol I said I got Volume 2, but apparently I got Volume 3. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait on this. I'm gonna unbox this with uh, Volume 2 next week. The I, I need to get, like, the other part, otherwise this bit's not gonna make sense for me. Initial review for everything so far, 10 out of 10. Fantastic Four so far is 10 out of 10, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna hold that book off until next week, and then uh do my unboxing and a short review for both of those books because i really want to collect like the whole story so thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment share and subscribe tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me subscribe to my friend disarray and crystal lawrence and angel dust all three of their channels are in the description and please make sure to subscribe to me i'm cl i'm close to 100 subscribers i'm at 96 right now and i really hope that we can get there and fully like reach my goal of getting 100 by this year or like at some point in this year and i'm very happy to like be able to make content for you guys and make sure like and like make sure i made your day or like made you guys feel better but thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and until next week i will see you guys in the next video 
Bye.